Hey everyone, this is Linnea Lucan from the Heartland Institute here with another climate fact check. Today, I'm going to talk about heat waves in the United States and whether or not we can tie them to climate change. My quick summary of heat waves in the US is this. Data show that heat waves are less prevalent and severe today than they were in early parts of the 20th century, especially the 1930s. The all-time high temperature records set in most states were set around that same time, in the first half of the 1900s. The most accurate nationwide temperature measuring network, started in 2005 by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, shows no sustained increase in daily high temperatures in the United States since that time. That's nearly 20 years of good data that just doesn't show increasing highs. Most of the Earth's warming over the past decades is happening during winter months, at night, and closer to the polar regions. When you think about it, the United States covers a very wide range of biomes and climate regions, and large portions are classified as those that are prone to heat waves, like the humid subtropics of the South and the hot desert in the Southwest. Heat waves have always been a natural part of our overall climate and will continue to be, whether global warming stops or reverses or not. Data show a big spike in heat waves in the 1930s. By contrast, recent heat wave frequency and intensity are pretty well within normal ranges. More than half of the US state's all-time temperature records were set or tied in the 1930s, nearly 100 years of global warming ago, and more states' maximum temperature records were set between 1900 and 1920, when global average temperatures were cooler than now, than were set or tied between 2000 and 2020. At the very least, it's clear that there is no alarming trend indicating the United States is suffering more severe heat waves due to climate change. 